Hey YouTube, welcome back to The Bearded Gentleman. I'm your host Cody McCain and today I have three separate uh, sampler packs that I purchased off of ThompsonCigars.com. Um, I wanted to share them with y'all, show you the, the cigars I got so y'all can look forward to some reviews that I may be doing here in the future. So let's get right into it here. The first sampler pack I got is a Gurkha sampler pack. Uh, I believe this is eight, eight cigars. So we'll go through them individually and I'll give y'all a little close up. Thompson Cigars has some pretty pretty good prices on their stuff, as, you know, especially when it comes to sampler packs. Get right into it here. So it looks like we got a Gurkha Titan. Let's see if I can get to focus. A Gurkha Titan. I have the Gurkha Warlord. There's the Warlord. The Gurkha Centurion. I don't know if I've done a review on this, but I've had one of these before and it's a pretty good stick. Uh, a little torpedo action. Next up is going to be the Gurkha Beauty. Light, light cigar here. There's that. This is called the Widowmaker by Gurkha. Cool label. It's a different label for them, looks like. So there's that. Next in this pack is the Gurkha Vintage 2001. Gurkha Vintage 2001. I had the Gurkha Seduction. I think that's what that says. I think it's Seduction looks like. That's a, another cool looking label for them. All these cigars are the same length and all of them, uh, only one of them is the torpedo it looks like so. And the last one in that sample pack is going to be the Gurkha Beast, I guess to go along with the Gurkha Beauty. So it's a little bit darker than the Beauty was. The next sampler pack I got is uh, a brand that I've had quite a few sticks from and really enjoy. And that is Alec Bradley. And this is a pack of 10 cigars. Let's see here. We'll start out with the Alec Bradley Family Blend, the Lineage. There's the lineage. Next up will be Alec Bradley Tempest Natural. So Alec Bradley's got some of the best labels, dude. <clears throat> uh, the next one uh, is another Alec Bradley Tempest. This one in Nicaragua. Same cigar, different uh, wrapper. Don't, don't quote me, I still gotta do my research. This is just the Alec Bradley Connecticut. Very, very light Connecticut wrapper on there. <clears throat> Alec Bradley Coil. La Vega Coil. I'm saying that right, probably not. There's that one. 
Next up is the Alec Bradley Black Market. I've had one of these before um, when I was getting into smoking and I didn't really care for it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it another shot. There's the black label. So, give that one another try. This is the Alec Bradley Max. I don't know if it's Max 10 or just Max with two X's, but um, I've had one of these two before, I believe, and didn't really care for it. But again, I was new into cigar smoking when I had these. So, there's the Max. And next is Alec Bradley Nika Puro. Um, probably didn't say that right either, but. The Alec Bradley American Classic Blend, I believe is what this one's called, another light Connecticut wrapper. Let's see if I can get the, the label to focus there. So, American Classic. Um, and this is, and this will probably be one of my favorite ones, I'm assuming, with how dark it is, the Alec Bradley American Sun Grown Blend. This thing is black. Try and get it to focus here. So, there's that one. Some of these did get beat up in shipping and aren't looking the best, but that's alright, we'll make do. The next pack is. It looks like it's a Rocky Patel with, uh, you know, a few different brands thrown in here. Mostly Rocky, Rocky Patel, I believe. Um, it is a pack of ten as well. So in this order, I got myself uh, 28 cigars, and I believe I have one on back order. Um, I think in total, I ended up with 48. And in this last sample pack, let's see, I have, let's see if they'll come out here, Rocky Patel Vintage 1990. Um, I can't tell if it's box press or if it's just beat up in shipping, but there's that one. Really, really lengthy, lengthy stick there. Next up is going to be the Wrath. Um, I don't know who makes this one. It says by Studio Tobac. I don't know who makes this one, but I f feel like I've had this one before. Or I was smoking with someone who was smoking this one. I've seen. I've definitely seen this late before. Next up is a Rocky Patel Vintage 1999 Connecticut. All these, these three cigars are the same length here. Um, so. There's that one. The Rocky Patel Old World Reserve. Another dark, dark stick here. Again, looks like this one's box pressed. Old World Reserve. Um, the last one on this side of the sample pack is the Rocky Patel Winter Collection. So, I guess one of their seasonal sticks. Rocky Patel Winter Collection there. And we have a, another Gurkha in this sampler pack here. The Enforcer. Another one I believe I've had, um, but can't quite remember. So, Gurkha Enforcer. We have the Monte Cristo um, Platinum Series. Monte Cristo Platinum Series, right here. So. 
Next up is another Alec Bradley Max Black. So I'm assuming this is going to be the same cigar with a different um, wrapper, more Maduro wrapper. So another Alec Bradley there. This one here is Empress of Cuba. So, I've never seen this label before that I recall. But there's the Empress of Cuba. Another box press looking stick. And last but not least will be the Rocky Patel Wall Street. Got a couple of bulls on the on the label there. Let's see if it'll focus. Got a couple of bulls down here. Neat wrapper or uh, label. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, as far as unboxings, if if y'all don't get sampler packs, I highly suggest it. You get way more bang for your buck and get to try a variety of sticks that you might not buy because they might not catch your eye in the store or, or for whatever reason so I really like sampler packs and it's a good way to build a palette but that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and share y'all have a good one and I'll see you on the next one